Hey guys, so this is the video that I've been putting off making for so, so long. So this is my makeup, clear out, decluttering, reorganizing, long overdue video. And I finally, I think I finally decided to do this now because I've kind of got myself in a bit of a setup that I'm happy with. I finally figured out how I want to arrange everything and where I want everything to be. So I think I'm gonna start by showing you what I have, what I'm working with at the moment, what needs to be cleared out, and hopefully where it's gonna go. So I'm in my bathroom right now. I recently got some new storage for in here, and I think this is where I want my main kind of everyday makeup to live. This is a chest of drawers from Ikea. This is from the Hemnes range. And yeah, I've decided to put this here in place of some shelves that I had, which just weren't great for organizing. So now I have drawers, and I think drawers are amazing because you can just literally tuck everything away. Having all this out on a shelf is so messy, so yeah, I like that I can tuck it all away now. So this is body stuff, skincare, hair, things that I kind of sorted out as I was building this. In the top here, we have my kind of daily skincare, I guess you could call this. I have hair products, some travel minis, things like that. And then I have this kind of slightly more empty one. And I got this from Ikea too, this in drawer storage. What I thought is that I would put my daily makeup in here and just kind of have a little makeup station here. So I have this mirror. Hello, uh, this mirror here, which I got at Next. Actually um, silver originally, and I spray painted it. Spray painted it gold, so love this at the moment. And yeah, I thought I would just do my kind of daily makeup here. So I have everything that I need just at my disposal in this drawer. And then everything else is upstairs. So let me go and show you that. There is a lot of stuff here. This is just the top of the table as well. Originally this was completely clear and I just had brushes and things like that on it, but it's kind of evolved into just makeup bags. So many various little makeup bags. I have my kind of new in basket here, which really needs a look at. I have perfumes on the top of here. I've also got hairbrushes and tools and things like that. I do actually have some Muji storage here as well, which I haven't opened for many, many months. So originally everything was supposed to just stay in these drawers here, but there's a plant blocking. Um, and I kind of have these organized. I have foundations and primers in here. This one I have eye products. And then the same thing is on the other side too. This one is lips, which is actually, I think this is the one drawer that I have organized recently. So it's not looking too bad. This is random blushes and a few more foundations. I have a lot of foundations. And then if we come over here, I have this other set of shelves. This is from Ikea as well. Um, but I have loads more Muji storage here. And again, I haven't I haven't opened these for so long. This was my original makeup collection, just these two sets of storage. So you have things like eyeshadows, pencils in there. I have eyes again, powders, <laughs> blush, bronzer. This is when I was more organized and actually when I had less makeup to deal with too. So that is everything that I want to sort. I want to get rid of a lot of stuff. Some things are probably way past their use by date. A lot of this stuff I'm going to give away too to friends and family and hopefully some makeup charities as well. But yeah, for somebody that really doesn't wear a lot of makeup nowadays, I'm much more about minimal kind of looks. Um, this is just too much. So we're going to, we're going to sort it out. I just lost a lipstick to this one. We've had our first casualty of the sort out. It's now in your tummy. So everything is in categories now, kind of. We've got things like concealers here, foundations, mascaras. Haven't gone through these yet, so I still need to take all the bits out of there. They're a bit more organized though, so they're kind of in sections. I'm probably gonna start with foundations because that's the thing I have the most of, so I think I can really clear out a big chunk of stuff doing that. I think I'm gonna pick out first of all all the cushions. I do use cushion foundations a lot. They're definitely definitely my favorite things at the moment. These two are actually new. I have one of these on today. They're the Clarins cushion foundations. I'm gonna put my pile over here for things to keep. Uh, right, what else do we have? L'Oreal cushion foundation. I do like these again a lot, as well as the Maybelline one. I think these are both really good drugstore cushions. I only just got the Maybelline one, so I'm gonna hang on to that. The L'Oreal ones are really good. I'm not sure if they might have dried up by now. They don't feel like they have a lot of product left in them. This one I got from Sephora a while ago. I never actually really liked this. It's one of the first cushions I got, but I think I got the wrong color, and yeah, I just never really liked that one, so that 
I can get rid of. I've got a couple of YSL ones. Honestly, I don't like either of these. For me, they're just a bit too shiny. Love this Chanel one. This is the Le Beige Cushion Foundation. Really, really into that one. As well as this Dior one too. I really like that. One, two, three, four, five of these Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue. Now, this, if I had to pick one thing to wear for the rest of my life, I would probably pick this base because it's just awesome. Not sure why I need six though, right? This one is a mini, um, so I will hang on to that. I have two vanillas, which is my shade, my favourite colour, and then two birch. Those ones I can live without, I can say goodbye to those. I've got some NARS ones, Pure Radiant Tint Moisturiser, this is such a nice one although i haven't reached for it for so long it's pretty old now this is the velvet matte one i never liked this i don't know why i thought i would like a matte foundation because it's just not my scene same with these jouer ones these jouer cosmetics i think this is a matte moisture tin and i didn't ever really like that this definitely has to stay this by terry one that is my favorite as well as this barley body one i like this for days that i want a bit more color i've got the clinique biy drops here too which i really like i also like how small they are the Clinique CC cream is nice, but I think I could live without that one. Uh, same as the Bourjois City Radiance. If you're after a really glowy tinted moisturiser from the drugstore, this this is really great, but I just don't use it. Okay, these are all my drugstore foundations. Obviously, the Rimmel Match Perfection is just my favourite. I love this foundation, so I think I'll hang on to that. Also, Healthy Mix. That is an amazing drugstore foundation. The rest of these, I don't know. I have Maybelline, Age Rewind, L'Oreal Infallible, and L'Oreal Lumi Magic. I think I could probably live without those. Oh, also this Revlon Stick Foundation, which I hated. I think this is probably one of the worst drugstore foundations out there. This is the Hourglass Vanish Foundation, which actually is so nice. Um... It's not my kind of thing really, but you can blend out to be a bit more sheer. I've also got the Bobbi Brown Stick Foundation, which has such a cult following. I know a lot of you guys really love this, but I just, I never really use it. Not sure how I've ended up with two Vitalumia Aquas. I think this one is really old actually, and this is slightly newer, so I'm gonna keep that one. Makeup Forever Ultra HD. Ah, uh, see, I wanna keep that too. I think that should probably stay. That is really, really good. Um, this NARS one, what is this? All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation. I feel like I didn't get on with this. Haven't used it for years, so don't need to keep that one. I have four Armani foundations here, and maybe I could hang on to Luminous Silk. I feel like that's a bit of a classic, but the rest I'm not really a massive, massive fan of. Almost forgot about the best tinted moisturiser ever. I feel like I've said that a lot, but I do love this one as well, the Shantakaija Skin Tinted Moisturiser. This is so good. So this is what I have left. Um, still quite a few things, but I'm happy with this now. I have four cushions. I've got two Charlotte Tilbury foundations. I've got the Chanel one, the Clinique, Rimmel, Makeup Forever, Armani, the Hourglass, Spanish Stick, and then the other tinted moisturizers that I want to hang on to. I have a lot of concealers, guys. Um, I've tried pretty much every concealer ever made, so hence this massive massive pile so this one this glossier is definitely staying i also love this nars one and this benefit boing concealer obviously i have quite a few of these rimmel match perfection concealers uh maybe i'll just keep that one full one because actually all of these these are really empty and I haven't used them for a while, so they're probably a little bit past it. This is new as well, actually, this Charlotte Tilbury um, concealer, which I'm trying right now. So that one I'm going to hang on to as well. I've also got two of these It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye concealers. One is illuminating, one is normal. Good concealers um, if you like a bit of full cover. Same with these HD uh, Makeup Forever ones. This crease is really badly though, and I haven't picked it up for a while, so maybe maybe that can go. Loads of these Urban Decay Naked Skin concealers, and I don't think I've used them. They're like correctors, and I also have one of the concealers, which I really don't like. Same with these YSL ones. They're really, really great. I just don't use correctors at all. Haven't used them, probably won't. I just, I would rather skip the extra step. Oh, this is such a throwback this Clarins concealer uh, this is really really empty actually and it's really old so that can go these bourgeois healthy mix concealers are really nice if you like something quite glowy but they're not my favorite this is an amazing concealer this is the charlotte tilbury double-ended one the concealer on this is awesome but i think it's probably run out now i feel like that has come to an end i've got so many ysl um to chaclars in loads of different variations i think i like to keep these because the packaging is so beautiful look at this one with the lips 
the by Terry Donsley's concealer, literally the most expensive thing ever. And honestly, not really worth it. I'm gonna hang on to it though, because I wanna kind of use it up. These Rimmel concealers are great for full coverage, but I just don't really reach for them all that often. Same with this Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. I've had this for years, so it's probably time to say goodbye. This Bare Minerals Concealer, this is so good, but I am 90% sure this breaks me out, so I haven't really felt like reaching for it. Um, and then this one, I think this is a corrector. I just haven't used this, so that can be given away. Um, and I think this one I will I will throw away. It's been a while. I've had this Laura Mercier palette for so long. Um, it's a really good concealer palette, actually. But you kind of have to mix it together, and it's just a little bit awkward. That one can go. Um, this MAC palette is really handy to have. This is the Studio Fix Concealer in a palette. I will hang on to that one. So I think... I've ended up with a pile now of concealers to keep. This seems like a lot, but actually I think this is good. I use concealer a lot, and I like to have a few different kinds, so these are the ones I'm going to be keeping. Um, I will take that beauty blender, thank you very much. For someone that really doesn't wear powder, pretty much ever, I've definitely ended up with quite a lot of them. <laughs> Why do I have this many powders? I literally only ever wear one powder if I'm going to wear it at all, and it's this one here. The Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. This one, I've pretty much used, I've actually hit pan on it. That is just a sight to behold. I never hit pan on powders. So I do have a backup of this here, just in case I ran out of that. So those two, they're definitely staying, but as for the rest of this, I'm not sure. I've got things like the Hourglass, ambient lighting powders which I do love. I've got a little mini one here as well, that's so cute. I think I will keep that. I've got Rimmel Stay Matte, Rimmel Instant Fix Matte, Bourjois Healthy Balance. These are all good but I just don't really need them. Another loose Bourjois one too. Uh, the By Terry Hyaluronic Powder. This is really really cool. It's like a really thin finely milled white powder. Same as this Vichy one and this NYX. Um, this NYX HD Studio powder. So these, I think if I had to keep one of these, it would be the By Terry one because it has hyaluronic acid in it. So it's kind of hydrating as well, which is cool. So those two can go. That one I think can stay. Uh, I do have a lot of loose powders. I'm not sure why, because I really don't like using loose powder. It makes everything just a little bit more messy. I've got the La Mer loose powder, which is actually beautiful. It is really good. And then obviously the Laura Mercier translucent one, which is kind of like holy grail status for a lot of people. This Becca one, I didn't like actually. This one was really, really orange on me. It's supposed to be like a illuminating powder, but no, it did not look good. This one is the Chanel Le Beige powder. I actually do like this one. It's a pretty good powder and it's a beautiful, beautiful palette as well. This one is really gorgeous as well, the Dior powder. It's like a gradient nude powder. I'm not sure if this is like a highlighter or a blush. I think it is just a powder. I've never actually used it, but it's just so pretty. I don't really want to give it away. Okay, I think I've narrowed it down. I'm going to keep the two Charlotte Tilbury powders, a little hourglass one, um, I've got the Le Mer powder, the By Terry one, and then I had to keep the Laura Mercier translucent powder because it's kind of like the OG. And then the Chanel one and then the Dior one because I can't, I can't not keep this, it's so pretty. Right, let's sort out all these primers. I have so many different primers. Some of these are more like tanning and tinting primers. This one um, is the Unisex Healthy Glow from Charlotte Tilbury. I actually love this. It's one of those kind of white creams that you put on and then as you rub it in, can you see it changes colour? These are kind of more like tanning creams, so they just have a colour in them. You don't have to really rub them in. They're both exactly the same, so I should probably only keep one. I think I'm going to go for the By Terry one. I have Max Stro cream here. I've got the Dior Glow Maximizer, um, the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Primers, a couple of L'Oreal ones. This Burberry one is really similar as well. I do like this Clarins one. Clarins do such nice primers and bases. This is the Eclat instant light radiance boosting primer so i am going to hang on to that this ysl one this touche club blur primer looks amazing it has like gold sparkles in it can you see it but um to me this doesn't really translate onto the skin and it's quite a heavy silicone based primer and I don't really like those. I don't like the really slippery silicone -y ones. These primers from Bare Minerals as well, I didn't massively get on with. They're very silicone -y. 
The one primer I probably use a lot if I do grab for one is the Marc Jacobs Coconut Primer because it just smells beautiful and it does kind of hydrate your skin as well as keep your makeup on. I also do like these Jouer ones. There's an anti-aging one and an anti-blemish one. The anti-blemish one has salicylic acid in so if I feel like I'm having a bit of a breakout day, I do like to use that as a kind of layer between my skincare and my makeup. The Hourglass Veil Primer though, this stuff is really good too. It's a little bit silicone-y and it is oil-free, but it still kind of feels really light on the skin, so I do like that one. I have quite a few, I have some minis of this too. This Lancome La Base Pro, I didn't really get on with very well. I've got a couple of these Estee Edit primers as well, the Pore Vanishing Moisturizer, these are both the same. Not a massive fan of those, so they can go. Oh. Wait, I found some more. I totally forgot about this drawer. This is a spray primer. So strange. Air Flash CC primer. I'm not sure why I thought that would be a good idea to buy. Anything you have to spray on is just the messiest, messiest thing. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten primers. Definitely better than what I had. And I think they will all fit into here. Okay, so that is primers done. So next we have highlighters. Um, first of all, this one is so old. It was a limited edition uh, from Estee Lauder, the Modern Mercury highlighter. I've seen these going on eBay for like hundreds and hundreds of pounds, which makes me want to hang on to it. It was such a beautiful, beautiful highlight. Look at that. I'd say this is going on like seven, eight years old. There are certain things like this though in my makeup collection that I just... I feel like I can never ever get rid of. I want to just keep them somewhere. Almost for just sentimental value rather than actually using them. So again, I feel like I can't get rid of this one. This one too was part of the Charlotte Tilbury Norman Parkinson collection. And oh, it's such a gorgeous highlighting powder. But the packaging of this is just stunning. I have this too as well, which is, um, I think this is like the blush and highlight palette. Oh, it's the cream bronzer and the cream highlight. Ooh, I feel like I would really enjoy this now. I haven't cracked this out for ages. I've got things like my Tanya Burr uh, baked highlighters that I definitely want to keep hold of. I love that stuff. Also, I have a couple of um, Becca Jaclyn Hill champagne pops here. One of these is the one that I destroyed and then pressed back together. Um, but since then, I have got myself a new one. Look, it's so fresh and beautiful. Okay, I'm going to keep that. And then this one, I think, is, is finally time to say goodbye. really like this Steeler one. This is kind of new. It's Kitten, I think. It's actually one of those weird, squishy ones interesting um i do really like it though it is a really nice product this is another limited edition one this is from burberry which i've actually used quite a bit but you can still see how pretty the embossing on this one was it was so nice i feel like highlighters especially limited edition ones are the things that i like to collect the most i don't really collect makeup in that kind of way but i seem to like my limited edition highlighters maybe i should start a little mini collection all of these stick highlighters that i have are all kind of similar, but I just don't really reach for them all that often. I'm going to keep the Glossier one. This is the Haloscope in Amethyst, because I do like that one a lot. And obviously Glossier is not the easiest to come by, so I'm not just going to get rid of a ton of that. This one, though, the Master Strobing Stick from Maybelline. I think I bought this to see if it would be a good dupe for the Glossier one, and it's, it's kind of just not very good. These Maybelline Strobing Liquids as well, I am not really fussed about hanging on to those. Same goes with this YSL Touche Eclat Glow Shot. I'm going to keep the Cover FX Celestial Drops. These are incredible. These are the most intense, glowy thing you will ever, ever come across. And then that just leaves this one, Champagne Pop Shimmering Skin Perfector. Such a gorgeous, gorgeous colour, so I think I will hang on to that. Okay, I've gotten, I think, about halfway through. I'm going to show you the progress that I've made, but I think I'm going to end up splitting this video into two parts, just because it's just going to be so so long um so let me show you what i've done where i've gotten to and what is left to sort so we have gone through concealers highlighters primers powders and base products so that is everything that i have decided to keep so far this here is the box of stuff that i'm going to be giving away things that are either unused or just really really lightly used and definitely things that other people will appreciate so that is the giveaway box which is <laughs> nearly overflowing and this is what is still left to do i've made a pretty sizable dent out of the massive pile that we started with but i've still got mascaras eyeliners lipsticks that's not gonna be easy eyeshadows eyeshadow palettes 
face palettes and then blushes and bronzers as well so i think i'm gonna save these all for part two what is this red thing on my neck i'm clearly getting incredibly stressed out about all of this um but in part two i'll show you once everything is done and where i put it away again and then the makeup storage that i've ended up with and how everything looks thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this and don't forget to subscribe as well while you're here just so you can see when the next video goes up you can click a little button which should be down there or down there not sure and I will see you all soon. Bye.